PianoKeyboardGuy.com Welcome to part two of our series of piano lessons. In this lesson, we will learn first of all the note names of the keys on your piano. Secondly, we will learn what is known as the right hand C position. Clearly, the piano keyboard is made up of black keys and white keys. If you look closely, you will realize that the black keys follow a pattern of two keys, followed by three keys, followed by two keys, followed by three keys, and so on. It continues depending on the length of your keyboard. Many beginners look at the keys of a piano and feel overwhelmed, but you shouldn't be. It's the same pattern being repeated over and over. It's the same notes being repeated over and over, except that some are high notes and some are low notes. In this beginner lesson, all we have to be concerned about are the white keys. We will pay particular attention to the white keys. There are many white keys, but only seven notes. Yes, only seven notes being repeated over and over. These notes are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The first seven letters of the alphabet. Only these seven letters are used to name musical notes. The black keys help us identify the location of white key notes. Let's find out where C is located. C is located before a set of two black keys. There are many C's on your piano. Wherever you see a set of two black keys, the white key just before it is C. Having found C, it is very easy to name the other keys. The key after C is D. The key after D is E. The key after E is F, then G. After G, we go back to A not H. There is no H. You simply go back to A. The key after A, you guessed it, is B. Then C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and it goes on and on till you run out of keys. F is located before a set of three black keys. This diagram shows various F notes on your piano keyboard. As we said earlier, the note after F is G, then A, B, C, D, E, F, and it continues. One very important note that you should know as a beginner is the note middle C. Middle C is the starting note for many of the songs you will learn to play as a beginner. As the name suggests, this note is located in the middle or center of your piano keyboard. It is not exactly in the center, but it is the centermost key. Here's middle C on a 61 key keyboard. Here's middle C on a 76 key keyboard. And here's middle C. On an 88 key keyboard or piano. On an 88 key piano, starting from the lowest note and moving higher, middle C is the fourth C. Let's now learn what is called the right hand C position. Here's an exercise I want you to do place your thumb or number one finger, on middle C. Now place your index finger 
or number two finger on the key after C. That key is D. Next, with your thumb and index finger still placed on C and D, respectively, place your middle finger, finger three, on E. Then place your ring finger, your number four finger, on F. Lastly, place your little finger, your number five finger, on G. Your fingers should be curved and relaxed and your wrist should be up. This is called a right hand C position. Play the following numbered pattern key by key. The pattern is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Fingers 3 and 4 are known to be a little challenging for beginners. But don't worry, it will get better with practice till it's a non-issue. I want you to practice this over and over. Remember that practice makes perfect. Visit pianokeyboardguide.com for more piano lessons. Please subscribe to this channel. PianoKeyboardGuide.com